So here we have a basic reflector. It's uh, 36 and a hair. By this I know is uh, it's 29 wide. When the edges are flat, these are campered up to add a little stiffness. It's it's been drilled for the through bolts. The backbone adds stability. Actually, the backbone holds the entire thing up. So that's your basic reflector. It's ready to go. So the next step is once you build your Hoverman antenna, you've got to figure out where you want your antenna mounted as far as on the uh, reflector. Try to keep it centered. You need a little space at the top, a little space at the bottom, and a little space on both sides. A little meeting three, four, five inches. As much as you can give it. 36 by 29. That's some kind of locked into those dimensions because I can go longer but I can't get wider. So there's the Hoverman sitting there. Let me change. The trick is building all this stuff ahead of time. Having your antenna element ready. And now I tighten down these. I keep those loose when you... It just allows you to uh, fit the antenna on better. So basically everything here is centered. From the center, here's the center mark here. There's a little pencil mark. From the center of the reflector backbone and the center of the antenna itself, which whichever antenna you decide to build, you're always working from the center out and the center out long ways. You're always uh, working from the center out. Now sometimes I'll put a lock washer on here. Today I don't have any. I need to get stainless, stainless parts. Now, I do have a flat washer and a stainless nut. I'm going to leave that loose because you have to measure. Now this is fair kind of sitting where it's going to sit. Take something straight, set it on the elements, and uh, <coughs> what you want to do is look down, get down under it. I can see this element is low, so I'm bringing it back up. And the same here. Just trying to get them all on the same plane. There we go. Using what's left of my tape measure as a straight edge, you look down the elements and see if they're all on the same plane. See if they, any kind of straight edge will do. Now this one's it's just slightly low, so I just slightly bring it up a little bit. And you do that for both sides, and they're all looking pretty good. And however you lay your straight edge out, everything should be on the same plane. That ensures you're picking your signals up evenly very evenly. The preferred measurement between the backbone or the uh, uh, reflector and the element is four and a half inches. And these guys are spot on. But you have to check all. Oh. Boy, that never happens.
<laughs> that never happens. They're spot on. And once you get it spot on, now if it wasn't spot on, I would raise or lower that, that lower, that nut under here. You would just adjust slowly. I'm just going to tighten down the top. Don't move the bottom. Just tighten down the top. And that should keep your measurement exact. Okay. So it's 4.5 inches, 4.5 inches for the Hoverman. And that's for all the pieces. pretty dang good. I'm happy. And that's setting the, re the, uh, the antenna on the reflector. That sets it up. There you go. You got good reflection. Now as I said in the instructions, the backbone for the element of the Hoverman is 21 inches long. It gives you an extra half inch on each end. You're working from the center out. So it gives you a half inch, so that when you go to mount this insulator, you have, you're, a, you're in a half an inch. This insulator and the end of that backbone are perfectly flush. And uh, your first insulator, which is on the top, from the center to the center of the middle insulator that's exactly 10 inches and it's exactly 20 inches to the to the bottom that's a simple simple measurements but it's very important that you have that extra half inch at each end of your element now it doesn't matter what what kind of antenna you're building you need to have extra space on both ends because you have to drive a screw in there or whatever you need space. So if you followed the instructions on the on the website for building the elements, it all comes out seven inches, seven inches, seven inches, seven inches. The diamonds are all right angles an outer right angle, an inner right angle, inner right angle, outer right angle on and on until it gets to the ends and uh, let me move down here yeah on the bottom and the top this makes a right angle comes down then you have this bends at 45 degrees or uh, 135 degrees however you want to measure it so that's basically it it's got a 21 inch backbone it's 20 inches Ooh, 20 inches top to bottom with the center at 10 inches you're four and a half inches from the reflector four and a half inches uh, your insulators these are two and a half. That's that's good for a Hoverman, two and a half. And they're moved in. I move them in, move the mounting screws in about a quarter of an inch so that you have meat to bite. You got it, you don't put it on the edge. Never put anything on the edge. You need to move in a little bit. Countersink your center mounting screws. That gets it out of the way. These being centered, they're out of the way. They won't ground. They won't connect. Um, 36 inches long, 29 inches wide for your reflector. Center that backbone. Everything is centered. And that's your basic hoverman with a reflector. It does a great job. These antennas, they're great antennas.
It's a nice looking piece of antenna too. Good luck guys.